Welcome back to Suladan Plays Mega Man Star Force Endway. So before I start, I want to point out something that amuses me. If you put the mouse cursor in the window and press buttons that says, please move the mouse outside the game window. This amuses me. Although using underscores is kind of eh. But anyway, ah, uh, also got the controller to work. Okay, so... As luck would have it, right around when I made the video for the demo, the full game released. Now, whether or not I let's play the entire game is still up for debate, depending on how the gameplay goes. Not because it's uh, not due to it being fun or not, but due to the Mega Man Battle Network and Star Force games are more... Uh, not really something that would be conducive to a let's play due to the length and or amount of, you know, RPG grinding and stuff. So we'll see. At the very least, you're getting this one. Oh, yeah. Apparently that. Fancy title screen. Let's see what options they use. Oh, same options as last time. Ooh. Difficulty shift. Uh, the fact that those options are still there worries me. Hmm. Yes, 20, 221X, because we forgot how to count. People now live in a futuristic world, and this world echoes the legend of a hero. Ten years ago, a hero arose, known as Mega Man arose multiple times and stood up to calamities threatening the Earth. He mended the bond between two planets. He helped ancient tribes accept their deepest regrets. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I never did get to play the uh, sequel to Star Force with the tribes. Oops. Uh, he even rescued his own father from the clutches of outer space. But after that, Mega Man disappeared to whereabouts unknown. Many years have passed since, and a new threat is looming. But Mega Man is nowhere to be found. Where could he be? Oh yeah, D-pad. Um, just gonna throw me right in here with no explanation whatsoever. Sure. So many, you read me. I read you, Mega Man. How's Omega X? Doing great. I'm ready to tear something apart. I can't do voices. Shush. Mega's as hungry for violence as ever. Good. Then here's the mission. You're inside of an old pet that's been mostly inactive for hundreds of years. Yes, because computers are so known to stay running for centuries in a garbage dump. Yeah. Lately, however, it's been emitting an odd signal. Uh, and it could reveal our... Yes, an old computer that's been sitting in a garbage dump for hundreds of years is, re is using a signal that could reveal our hidden location. That logic. I'm not making fun of it, I'm just joking around. So you want us to investigate the cause and stop the signal, right? That's exactly right. Oh, and I also made some changes to your Hunter VG. You need a refresher on how to fight? No, we did the demo. Push all buttons. Okay, that's all the buttons. Ooh. Got a random battle already. Gonna be honest, still not a huge fan of the only giving me three by one area to move in. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, they've done a very faithful recreation of it, don't get me wrong. I was just a larger fan of the Mega Man Battle Network games because battle was more strategic. You had a larger field, you had more ways to interact with the field, and the Star Force games went with a more fast-paced battle style that just didn't resonate with me in the same way. If you're looking into the Mega Man Battle Network games, I recommend the first three. Uh, I mean, yes, if you're going to play them all, play them in order, but the first three were, to me, the better of the bunch. Two and three being the... Well, two is my favorite. Three runs a near second. Three and on, they started doing the Pokemon do two versions thing, which was just stupid, but, uh... They kind of went downhill over the years. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's neither here nor there. See if I remember left. There we go. Ow. Oh, I have a shield. That's right. <laughs> the necessity... The... Will you stop that? Uh... Wrong, but I'm getting used to controls. Okay. 
the reason they the Star Force games had to add a shield was because of the fact that you didn't have enough room to dodge, so you then had to use a shield for, for a lot of things. Which to me kind of showed the fact that the shield, that the uh, the one by three, if the one by three battle style forced them to add a shield mechanic just so the player could, uh, you know, dodge stuff, that told me they probably didn't need to do that. Now, there was a shield mechanic in the uh, Battle Network games, but it generally required you to have shield style or certain chips. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's just my two cents on it. Okay, you grab it. Grab it! Yeah, I got money. I got more money from that than I did fighting. Blue one. Blue, give. Cannon. <laughs> For every card selection after the first in a battle, you'll always have at least one cannon available. <laughs> Yay, cannon! Uh, swords. That, that's not what I want. Aaron. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the buttons raw. Okay, look, cannons, yay. There we go, they did. Give me my muns and let's go. Uh, okay, that's a thing. Always love the idea of terrain that. I don't know what day is, but day ain't friendly. That my ow. I misjudged its hitbox. Supposed to be a change of area, and you're gonna interrupt me, right? Ooh. Add a freeze effect to the next Yes. Frozen Vulcan. Well, that, that, that didn't go as planned. That did not go as planned. what that nonsense was, but it was. I got money. Ah, uh, those platforms appear to be falling. Oh, hi. Ooh, where are you? What? Excuse? No, 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 no. Excuse? I saw a thing on Nowhere, apparently. It was a trap all along. And I fell for it twice. I don't know what's over there, but there's something over here. Item. The level layout so far is very faithful. We got barrier. Soul. Yeah, for barriers. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna do it. The lack of diagonal movements is a little painful, but you know, overall, doing a really good job so far. Although the music is outstanding, I'm assuming. I don't. Actually, I don't know. Oh, that wasn't fire. That's not fair. Oh, come on! <laughs> now you're just messing with me, gang. Oh, 
I wanna go this way. Is that literally just a loop? Basically, green ones in the base games were ones that would respawn when you left or entered an area and just had random items. Blue ones were ones that were, you know, programmed to be in a given spot. I'm used to going uh, attack chip then attack plus, so I'm, I keep doing it backwards. Okay, so, eh? Could just let you come to me. Okay. Eh? 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 <laughs> it just closed. Something, something, trial by fire. <laughs> then it just closed. Yes, I know. I don't know why it didn't crash this time. We're just going to roll with it. Uh, this place is falling to pieces. Oh, they clip through each other a little funny. Funny. Okay. So I didn't pick up any of the extra money. I didn't pick up the cannon trial, and I just picked up the apparently gravity stage trial. Whatever that do, hi. He's out of control. Zoom, are you picking up on this guy? Yeah, he's probably sending out signals in a mindless panic. So that means he's our target? Sounds like a it, kid. It's showtime. <sighs> Sounds like a Frankenstein. Oh, it's you again. Uh, oh! Oh, come on! If you're gonna give me a sword, a wide sword, and a long sword, at least let me go and pull a, uh... No, I forget what it's called. Program advanced thing -um that happens when you pull a sword, wide sword, and long sword. I don't know what you do, but I like it. Play immobilizing panels. I want that. Ow. Well, you know what? You get hit with a mad hole. Another, gra I love gravity stage. I want more gravity stage. I want that. Why am I purple? Why can't I move? Stop whatever you're doing, sir. It's not helpful. Eh. Eh. You can't move and neither can I, so where are you? Hey, 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 who said you could move? I did not give you permission to move. Stop it. Stop it. Yay, and that's right. Mm. Well, he vanished. He's gone. Bravo, Mega Man, I'm impressed. That means the mission is complete, right? I think so. What was that all about, anyway? Eh, who knows, I'm just happy we got to kick some tail. Uh, yeah, mission complete. Return to base. Roger. 
End of demo. Oh, this is still a demo. Okay. <laughs> this is just a bigger demo. Playing a Star Force Denway, lead developer Trev Guy, Professor Net, Concept and Design Art, Fred, Twitter at Net Professor, Cosmic Nobab Sprites, Cyber Axel, Secret Boss. There's a Secret Boss somewhere. Trev Guy, programming, music, etc. Thank you so much for playing this game. It means a lot to me. Okay, no, I thought this was the full release, so that's that's good. Ah, uh, good that it's still a demo, because there are things lacking that would have worried me had it not been a demo. Ah, uh, I'm going to take that off the screen. And there we go, that's better. Okay. Whoa. That was a weird sound. I don't think you heard that. It was a weird murr. And it came from my left ear. These be troubling times. Okay. Where to begin? Uh, the gameplay does hold very well to a nice fusion of Battle Network and Star Force style. The enemies have somewhat predictable patterns and they're not flitting around the battlefield like hyped up nonsense. Uh, I know if I set the difficulty up, I can make them do that, but that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, I personally would much prefer to have a 3x3 three three or at least a 2x3 battlefield for my character to move around in. I, that, that's just, I'm just starting with that. This is not a criticism of the 1x3 battlefield being used in the demo, because this is based more on Mega Man Star Force, which, like I've mentioned before, used a 1x3 field for you to move in, so you just had, you know, up, down, up, down, up, down, and a shield to block anything that you couldn't get away from. The 3x3 allows you to navigate around attacks and do things, and then if you happen to have if you happen to be using a shield style then you have a backup for if you get caught and you've got nowhere to move it also allows for greater variety in uh terrain you have some attacks that will break a tile temporarily you've got the rocks and obstacles that can take up a tile until they take enough damage to be broken a larger field allows you greater variety in what you can do with a field, greater variety of enemy attacks, and greater variety in what the player can do to deal with those attacks instead of left, right, left, right, oh, can't dodge that shield, left, right, left, right, <gasps> shield. And that's not a criticism of this demo or of this fan game in the slightest. That is a criticism laid more at the feet of the Capcom-made Mega Man Star Force games because that was one thing that always stood out to me about them. I feel like they did that because of the turn to 3D, because trying to move on a 3x3 three three terrain while you're looking straight down the battlefield would probably have been a bit clumsy. But that's just my thoughts on the matter. As for this game, it does a very good job at representing that while feeling more like Battle Network. The downside for me is, as a Battle Network fan, I keep hitting left and right trying to move around the field because my, my brain still has that muscle memory. And there's that little bit of, it looks so close to Battle Network that I, you know, I, I miss the things about Battle Network that I would then want to be doing. Since this is a demo, I can't really criticize the smaller variety of chips. I know there is a large variety of chips that are, you know, if I go turn on the debug thing, assuming it's still in the demo, there is a large variety of chips that are still being worked on that don't function properly yet that will be done as the game proceeds. I remember that from the previous video. Uh, so I look forward to that. I look forward to seeing a, well, a save menu for one. But again, demo. That was one of the things that had this been a full game. I was like, it had to be a, well, it, it either meant the game was short or that it was a demo because lack of save would not work with a full you know, long Battle Network slash Star Force style game because of the amount of time that would go into it. Uh, you making your own custom deck and other things. They really did an amazing job with the art style translating Star Force into more of a Battle Network art style. The world 
the the level layout felt very true to what I would expect from Battle Network or Star Wars. The item placement is nice, but when the game is larger, I do hope to see more variety in the way items are hidden, a larger variety of items, and a larger variety of overall level layouts. But of course, this has one area, so I can't, you know, I'm not criticizing that. I look forward to seeing more development from it, and as it develops, I would like to, you know, keep an eye on it. You know, with the disclaimer that when the full game releases, I probably will play at it a little on the channel, but depending on the length, I may not. Like, if it's a 30-hour, like, full-on Battle Network Star Force experience where I can go off on tangents, it's probably not something we're going to tie the channel up with for a year. Uh... You know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> there are certain styles of games that just don't lend themselves as well to a Let's Play unless you have the charisma to keep interest, and I lack that. I am more analytical with little moments of craziness. But anyway, I really enjoy it. Really think the demo is a great improvement over the previous demo. Showcases the game well. Game has much potential. Game is beautiful. Game has great sounds. Uh, sound design thus far. I'm going to go ahead and pause here, though. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next game.